Hey, this is Mr. Gareth Gates and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for this vlog, I've decided to entitle it Getting to Know You. Um, and my other half is sat behind the camera. Uh, she's going to be asking me questions and I'm going to be answering them to you in order for you to get to know me that little bit more. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. What is your full name? My full name is Gareth Paul Gates. Paul is the name of my dad. Uh, but interesting story actually, which you'll either laugh at or cry at. Um, as a child, my stammer was that bad that I used to call myself any other name apart from Gareth, um, as the hardest thing for a, a stammer to say is their own name. And so I'm sure when I became well known, there were lots of people going, wait a minute, his name's not Gareth. Uh, but it actually is, it's my real name. Say my name, say my name. What age are you and what is your birthday? I'm 36, old now aren't I baby, very old um, and my birthday is 12th of the 7th 1984. What is your star sign? Cancer um, which I think means uh, home loving, family, uh, extremely loyal which pretty much sums me up. Where are you from? Uh, originally from a place called Bradford up in Yorkshire where my family still are, so I try and get back there as often as I can. I have a, a house up there as well, but I've, I've lived half my life in London as well. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll always be a Yorkshireman. Uh, however, I, I have been away from there for half my life. Do you have a lucky number? Uh, I think my lucky number probably these days is uh, six and four. That's the... Um, that's the birth date of my beautiful daughter, Missy. Um, and so I use six and four of everything now, my pins and my passwords. Probably shouldn't have said that. Actually, this was actually a mug that my beautiful daughter made me, it says Daddy. What is your shoe size? My shoe size? Oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, is, uh, well, it's uh, nine now, however, at the age of 18, I was actually a size 11, um, and my mum loves this story. Um, I just always actually felt like I had massive feet, and I um, always liked to wear kind of really slim trousers, and so I always thought my feet looked like big flippers, and so ever since the age of 18, I've always tried to wear smaller shoes in order to shrink my feet, and it's worked. What is your favourite animal? My favourite animal is probably a dog. Um, we've had two dogs as a family. Um, we had a cat um, when I was really, really little, but my mum found it sat on my sister's face and so we got rid of it. What is your favourite food? Well, I just eat constantly. So So um, I like all foods, but I think my favourite food is probably steak with eggs on top. Do you have a favourite song? Um, no, I ain't got a favourite song. Uh, I mean, I really love all of my songs. So. Oh, my love. It can happen to anyone of us. However, I am really into house music at the minute. My um, lovely other half is um, a big house DJ. Not big. Big house, don't put yourself down. Um, and uh, as a result of that, I'm now a house head. And it's great to work out to as well, so kind of win-win situation. What is your favorite film? Hmm? What is your favorite movie? There we go. <laughs> Uh, my favourite film is True Romance. What's your favourite band? 
Uh, favorite band is probably Queen. Um, they're the greatest rock band of all time, and the British. Um, I don't think there's a better performer than Freddie. Can you curse your tongue? Have you ever cried at a film? The first film I ever cried to was Ghost, which was ironic because that was um, the title track of that was Unchained Melody, which was the first song that I ever released. Do you like scary movies? I hate them. I think why put yourself through that trauma? Uh, I think the last scary movie I ever watched was uh, Blair Witch Project and ever since then I haven't been camping again. If you were a gentleman you'd close your eyes. <laughs> Do you like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. I'm a bit of a adrenaline junkie and I have a 11 year old daughter as well so I haven't a choice in the matter. What is your favourite holiday? Beach, mountain or city? I'd have to go for beach. Any opportunity to get my top off. Oh. And you like that as well, don't you, baby? <laughs> what was your first job? Uh, I haven't really ever had a job. <laughs> um, no, um, I did Pop Idol when I was the ripe old age of 17. So I haven't really kind of ever had like a... 9 to 5 job, but um, my job is hard at times. Would you consider yourself romantic? Would you consider me as romantic? Can you don't just shrug. I am a, actually an extremely romantic person, yes. What is your favourite sport slash physical activity? Um, I used to be kind of half decent at football when I was young but haven't really played it properly for years and now I'm terrible. What is your biggest fear? I think my biggest fear of late would be for us to be constantly stuck in lockdown and for the entertainment business never to return and for me never to be able to do what I do best and you baby right? Yeah. It's, it's a huge fear but I think we're there is now light at the end of the tunnel, so hopefully we'll be back on a stage near you very soon. Do you have any phobias? Rats. Um... I couldn't, I can't, I can't stand them, the, like the long tails and they're just dirty animals. Can you give us your best accent? Accent um, is something I've always hated, obviously due to having a stammer, but I uh, actually learned that when I act on stage, as I have done in various things. There's a grief that can't be spoken. Um, if I learn a script, if I often um, speak in a different accent, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Um, like for instance, when I did Footloose, I had to speak in like a um, American drawl from like the South. Um, he missed or you burnt me. Well, don't you ever look where you're going? Oh, can you? I'm embarrassed now. Um, and um, also, my dad's from. Um, Birmingham, so I can do Roach, Bab, you're all right. <laughs> Tell us an embarrassing moment. That right then. Accents. Okay, this is a this or that round. Just a quick fire round. Okay, go. Coffee or tea? Tea, I'm extremely allergic to coffee, so much so that I actually invented a range of coconut teas myself, which are on the shelves of Holland and Barrett. Um, it's called Cup and Nut. Have a look for it. Pizza or pasta? Pizza without the cheese. Comedy or drama? Comedy. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Don't really use Facebook all that much, but I'm learning. Coke or Pepsi? Ooh, that's a tough one. I was actually sponsored by Pepsi for a while. Had my face on the can, so I should say Pepsi, but I really like the taste of Coke. Cat or dog? Dog. 
Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Summer or winter? Summer? Get naked in the sun? Theatre or cinema? Theatre? Book or movie? Movie. Singing or dancing? Singing. I'm terrible at dancing, but I'll give it a try. Boat or plane? Well, I actually do a lot of work on the ships. So I'm going to go for boat. Superman or Batman? Uh, Superman. Frozen yogurt or ice cream? Mm, I prefer the taste of ice cream, but I'm going to go for frozen yogurt because it's slightly healthier. Fruit or vegetables? Vegetables, less sugar. Pool or sea? Pool, much cleaner. Online shopping or in-store shopping? Oh, I can't stand in-store shopping, especially with you. Like we've walked round hours just looking at the same stuff. Oh. Scooby-Doo or Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry. That's it. That's all, folks. And that's it. I hope you know me slightly better from that. Um, the next... Uh, getting to know you question and answer round that we do would actually like you to send in your questions so underneath this blog if you want to uh, type in some questions and we'll feature them in the next question and answer uh, round hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you soon